And they're away. Jamie Pantry goes into the lead, followed by John Dormer, Ian Lee Amis. It's Jamie Pantry leading, John Dormer, Ian Lee Amis. And getting down to it, down that back straight, Jamie Pantry really doing the business as John Dormer closes on that top end. It's Jamie Pantry, John Dormer, Ian Lee Amis. Then Mitchell, Mitchell Johnson. And John Dormer going through to take the lead from Jamie Pantry. The first three well ahead of the next lot. But it's John Dormer in command now from Jamie Pantry, Ian Lee Amis. Really getting down to it. Mitchell Godden in full. Then Paul Steele. Then Colin Beach in. Then the other, sorry, I'll just say the other still. Uh, Steve Smith it was. As the leader comes around the top end there, really powering it on. It's John Dormer pulling away there from Jamie Pantry on their last lap now. Billy and Liam is in third. A long way back, Mitchell Gordon in fourth. Then Paul Steele, then Colin Beach in. Long gap as John Dormer laps the tail ender. The leader's up with the tail ender as John Dormer comes around to take the checker flag now. First winner of the, of the afternoon for John Dormer, followed by Jamie Pantry, and Ian Lee Amos in third. A long way back, Mitchell Godden in fourth. Then Paul Steele, then Colin Beach in. Martin Drury, then Steve Smith, and I think that's it. Over to Martin for the result. For number 76, John Dormer. In second place was number 120, Jamie Pantry. In third place, number 183, Ian Lee Amis. In fourth place, number 9, Mitchell Godden. Fifth place, 247, Paul Steele. Sixth place, number 61, Colin Beechin. Seventh place, number 145, Martin Drury. Eighth place, number 47, Steve Smith. And in ninth place, number 100, Nick Field. Winner's time was 1 minute 42.30. Quickly from the top, 76, 120, 183, 9, 247, 61, 145, 47, 100. A time of 1 minute 42.30. Back to Don. Yes, in race two, we've got Simon Honeysett, Richard Smith, Adrian Phipps, Jack Walker, Keith Richards, uh, Mark Giles, Phil Ranson, Steve Sirrett. So this should be a good one. Um, they're on the line there. And they're away for the second race of the afternoon. And into the lead goes Steve Sirrett, followed by John Pelcher and Mark Giles on the outside there. Steve Sirrett from Ipswich, Suffolk, takes the lead. Richard Smith up there in second, I think that's Richard Smith. He's got a different number today, but it's Richard Smith. Another one from Woodbridge near Ipswich. Then John Pelcher. Then we got Jack Walker. Then Adrian Phipps and Mark, sorry, Mark Giles and Adrian Phipps as the leader. Steve Stewart from Ipswich. Well, he's another one from Woodbridge, Ipswich. But uh, these Suffolk boys coming down invading invading us. It's still Steve Sirrick, followed by Richard Smith, John Pilcher, Mark Giles. Phil Ransom well back in about sixth place. But it's Steve Sirrick who's setting the pace. Pulling an even bigger lead from Richard Smith. As Steve Sirrick comes out of that top end up now to take his last lap flag, still Richard Smith, John Pilcher, Mark Giles. Jack Walker, Adrian Phipps, Phil Ranson. Then Graham Legg, then Jason Forbes. As the leader comes around the top end, Richard Smith closing. It's a win for Steve Sirrett from Richard Smith. 
Mark Giles and John Pilcher, Jack Walker, Phil Ranson and Adrian Phipps. Completing the lineup. 321 Graham Leg, then 42. Get the result out of this right that race after this race, so it's back to Don for the race to race three. All right, it's all happening, everything's going under control quickly. Mike Appleton goes into the lead. Mike Appleton and Wogie back there in third place. Mike Appleton who comes from um, Burfield, I think that's down in Bristol as well, then down that way. And who's that coming around there quickly, trying to catch up with Mike Appleton? It's David Mears on his new track. Really going well around the ex Ian Rutter. The ex Ian Rutter Honda and he takes the lead from Mike Appleton. His uh, two stroke has uh, certainly got David Mears going well now. Really flying on him. Ex Ian Rutter. New track Honda from Mike Appleton, then Robert Wells, then Nick White, Bernie Edwards, still at it. We seem to have lost Wogie. I don't know what happened to him, but he's uh, pulled out up the top there. Terry Giles, who rides for Arena Essex Juniors, has the leader, comes round on his last lap. David Mears from Mike Appleton. Then Robert Wells. Robert Andrews, I should say. Oh, I call him Robert Wells. I was thinking of uh, thinking of his wife, I think. I meant his mother. <laughs> Getting right mixed up here. As the leader comes round to take the checker flag, a win for David Mears from Mike Appleton. Robert Andrews got it right this time from Nick White, from Bernie Edwards. As the others finish the line. Going race three, a win for number one three nine, second five five eight, third two two seven, fourth ninety six, fifth one one five, sixth forty six, seventh one oh five, eighth one four seven, ninth thirty six, and tenth one eight one. No other finishes, 1 minute 42.73. Race 2 again quickly, 25, 3, 49, 26, 262, 6, 176, 321, 42, 30 and double O, 1 minute 44.36. And race 3, 139, 558, 227, 96, 115, 46, 105, 147, 36 and 181. 1 minute 42.73, over to Don for race four. Yes, uh, first of the left-handers this afternoon, we've got Hollingshead, Bill Penfold, Graham Hilton, Tommy Penfold, Jay Phillips, and that should be John Fish, not Duncan Fish, as I said earlier on. Number two gets into the line. No, it's not number two, it's... Still having problems there, getting somebody in the right position. Bill Penfold getting very eager. Clutch is obviously starting to get a little bit warm. Oh. And they're away. Tom, Pe Tom Penfold and then Bill Penfold. Tommy Penfold in the lead from Bill Penfold. And 
the pace is being set there by young Tommy. Really going well with Bill Penfold in second. Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. Then John Fish. Then Graham Hilton. Mr. Hollingshead going got a very uh, upright riding position there. It's uh, an old style outfit. Has the leaders. Tom Penfold and Liam, Liam Chivers. Followed by Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. Starting to pick up a few bits. Dirt and a few people here, but uh, not going to worry. The action's at the front. Quite a long gap for the third one. As Tommy Penfold comes around now to take the last lap back, still being chased hard by Bill Penfold. Still John Fish in third. Graham Hilton in fourth, a long way back. And Bill Penfold trying to get past, he's going to try again this time, but they're closing on that top end. Tommy Penfold not giving an inch, not letting him get through. It's going to be a close finish. It's a win for Tommy Penfold from Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. As Bill Penfold falls into the middle, I know he's got something in his eye or what, but it's uh, John Fish and Dean Malone and Graham Hill. Well, uh, Bill Penfold got... Four, Tommy Penfold with Liam Chivers in the chair. In second place, number two, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. In third place, number one, seven four, John Fish <coughs> and Gary Moore. In fourth place, number one, five one, Graham Hilton and Bob Arger. In fifth place, number 33, Jay Phipps and H. Smythe. Not sure who they are, but uh, new boys on me. And then in sixth place, number three, four eight. Roger Hollingshead and Jay Bartlett. Winner's time, 1 minute 47.41. From the top by number only, 24, 2, 174, 151, 33 and 348. Winner's time, 1 minute 47.41. Over to Dom for race 5. Yes, number 21, Keith Lessiter, the Davis brothers, Tony Penfold, Bob Miles, Bernie Townsend and Bill Penfold. Sure, that should be David Penfold, but there we go, I might be wrong. It is Billy, I've been informed. And it's Billy that goes in the lead with Tony just taking it as they came past here. So it's Tony Penfold in the lead with Billy Penfold. The Penfolds were first and second in the first race. They're in that position at the moment. The other members of the family, a very big racing family as you all know. Fathers and sons all been racing a few years. So it's Tony Penfold in the lead with Billy Penfold and then Philip Davis. Coming tight there on that corner, it's still Tony Penfold streaking away from Billy Penfold, Philip Davis. John Arnott, it is, I thought it was, but it's John Arnott's not. Ah. John Arnott's taking Bob Miles' in place, I've been informed. It's still Tony Penfold, Bill Penfold, Billy Penfold, I should say. Billy Penfold got trouble by the look of things. So it's Billy Davis up in the second place and challenging Tony Penfold now as they go down that back straight. Billy Penfold still going and, and Philip Davis takes the lead from Tony Penfold. He really shot through there quickly. As he come up to take the last lap flag, it's Philip Davis, Tony Penfold, Billy Penfold, John Arnold, Pete Lessinger, and Bernie Townsend bringing up the rear. And it's Philip Davis. Found some power from somewhere there, and he's got quite a lead now from Tony Penfold. As Philip Davis comes out of that top end, down now to take the chequered flag. It's a win for Philip Davis and his brother from 
Tony Penfold, Billy Penfold, and John Arnott. Keith Lasseter. And Bernie Townsend bringing up the rear. Richard Davis in second place, number 25. Tony Penfold. I can't remember who's on with Tony. Tony Penfold and Jay Wood this afternoon. In third place, number 23, Billy Penfold and Matthew Lewin. In fourth place, number 251, John Arnott and passenger, uh, Russell Steele. And in fifth place, number 21, Keith Lesseter and James Cramp. And then number 69, Bernie Townsend and Martin Cadill. The winner's time there, 1 minute 53.28. From the top, 217, 25. 23, 251, 21 and 69. Winner's time, 1 minute, 53.28. Well, you're lumbered with my dulcet tones now for a couple of races and... Uh just, a, just a quickie. Uh, Brian Holland and his lovely wife are adjacent to the caravan here. If any riders with national licences um, want to enter the Brighton national meeting on Sunday, where are we? I'm looking for the date quickly, Sunday 28th of June so uh, over to Martin Well this is the first outing of the 350cc solos this afternoon and uh, good line up of 350 boys we have here, pity there's not a few more enough to make up two heats but uh, nonetheless the 350 class is still alive and well down here in the south east centre Steve King, Jonathan Duke Mark Whiteman and Chris Nice from the Eastern Centre. Good, good sprinkling of centres here and are away down that first straight. It looks to be a very good start. Jonathan Duke just edging his way in front on the first turn. From the east side down, Mark Whiteman. Then they're jumping it all wound up down the back straight. Jonathan Duke, one of the hot favourites in the 350 class in the South East Centre. But Keith Fox goes right up the inside and pulls the lead. Said from Jonathan Duke, from David Mears, just getting his nose in front of Mark Whiteman. Mark Whiteman just back up on the inside, and that's the third place at the moment. The King Fox is going away, and Jonathan Duke wondering what's happening. Trying to squeeze another little bit of ounce of power out of that 350cc machine. Round the turn they come in, winding their bikes up, 175, King Fox on the ABC from Jonathan Duke on the west lane, and then Mark Whiteman, and then So Keith Fox looking to have this class under control this afternoon. Opens his account here. If he can do one more lap in front with a win. 175, Keith Fox from 25, Jonathan Duke from Mark White and David Mears. Right. Marcus Hill and three more. So coming round now to take the last lap flag this time. Keith Foxy, simulating style, takes that second flag. His first win of the afternoon. Second place there to 25, Jonathan Duke. Then Mark Whiteman, Roy Sizemore, David Mears, Andy Gong, Steve King, Neil Emmett. Marcus Hill is really chasing hard there in Paul Hustle Hurry's old letters. Followed in by number 644. And number seven. And three three one, Paul Watson bringing up the rear. Oh, tremendous action there for the three fifty CC class. Good to see it alive and well. And what a win there for Keith Potts. Getting past Jonathan fast starting Jonathan Duke. And he was a great win there for one seven five, Keith Potts. In second place, number twenty twenty five. I was going to say Roland Duke. <laughs> I should have my hands slack, one I? Um, in third place, 190, Mark Whiteman. Yes, Jonathan Duke, I'm sorry. Um, third place, 190, Mark Whiteman. In fourth place, 231, Roy Sizemore. In fifth place, 139, David Mears. In sixth place, 261, Andy Gom. In 7th place, 66, Steve King. In 8th place, number 58, Neil Emmett. In 9th place, 211, Marcus Hill. In 10th place, 644, S. Hutchins. In 11th place, number 7, C. Norris. And in 12th place, number 331, Paul Watson.
Winner's time, 1 minute 39.39 seconds. Again quickly from the top, 175, 25, 190, 231, 139, 261, 66, 58, 211, 644, 7, 331. Winner's time, 1 minute 39.39 seconds. And as Martin said, at the previous race, you've got to put up with my dull set tones again now. Oh dear. And it's the 500cc sidecars, and it's Carl Squirrel goes into the lead. Carl Squirrel's got a very nice round there. Uh, last second speedway show up in Coventry, and that is, certainly is a nice outfit. But who's that coming up there very quickly? It's Brian Palmer, who's... Yeah, Razzmatazz Palmer, really get, getting down to it. Obviously liking this track. Brian Palmer, ex-solo rider. In third place, Mark Stubberfield, one of our own centre riders that do this 500cc sidecar racing. Mark has been going very, very well uh, last year, and obviously he's going to hope to continue his good form this year. Brian Palmer it is, increasing his lead now from Carl Squirrel. Then Mark Stubberfield. Then they go win. Beard it was, yes. But look at Brian Palmer, got a nice action there coming out of there, really getting down to it. He's used to the continental tracks abroad there, and there's a good scrap going on between Carl Squirrel and Mark Stubberfield. Another one that uh, one of our own centre riders that are going well and hope. Hoping for another good season as the leader comes around to take the checkered flag. A win for Brian Palmer. And C. Herbert, followed by Carl Squirrel and Mark Stubberfield, and then the good wins. And Simon Beer bringing up the rear. Well, I can remember a few years when the 500 first came out, and uh, uh, a lot of people were disappointed with it. But they've certainly improved now and uh, really going well. Over to Martin for the results. Place number 7, the official result there to win for number 71, Raz Palmer. In second place, number 33, Carl Squirrel. <laughs> in third place, number 9, Mark Stubberfield. In fourth place, number 30, Martin Goodwin. And in fifth place, number 14, Simon Beard. The winner's time there, 1 minute 45.16. Again then from the top, by number only, 71, 33, 9, 30, 14. 1 minute 45. Point one six. Heading into race eight and again back to Don. Well, one of the old timers is in this one is Keith Beard. He used to ride with Dennis O'Callaghan left-handed many moons ago. Riding number 13, their old riding number. And they're away, and it's... Dave Collins off to a good start. Dave Collins and Andy Peck there is three or more bunch together. Another one of our centre riders, so uh, I think we've only got about three centre riders riding 500s and uh, they're not disgracing themselves one bit. Wayne Boyce holding second at the moment as they go into that top bend. Out of the corner comes Mr Peck, followed by Wayne Boyce. We think it's Alan Peck in the lead. We're not sure of his Christian name, but it's Alan Peck in the lead from Wayne Boyce, then Dave Collins, and then Keith Beard, the old-timer, really enjoying his 500 on the car racing. 
They used to do left hand side car racing many moons ago, back in the 60s with Pastrin, Dennis O'Callaghan. You remember that one, Martin? Yoni Justice says, yes. Uh, as the leader comes out, it's now Dave Collins takes the checker flag from Wayne Boyd. And Alan Peck, Keith Beard. It's a lovely track to uh, race on and uh, they're all enjoying themselves. I'm trying to do the passenger names as well. Rick Francis. In second place, number 91, which is Wayne Boys and Jason Holmes. Third place, number 20, Alan Peck and S. Pavitt. And in fourth place, number 13, Keith Beard and R. Graves. Winner's time, 1 minute 46.63. From the top, 5, 91, 20, 13. No fifth finisher, 1 minute 46.63. On now to the 500cc solos. The big boys of the solo class. And another good line up here. Meeting Robin Pilcher and Jason Jennett, Jason Forbes, Barry Hellstrip, Keith Richards, John Trevitt, Bob Camden, Jay Cawthoray. Roy Sizemore, Adrian Harden, Alan Hobden and Keith Drury. That's the lineup for race number eight on the line now and the tapes go and they're away down the first straight on their way to the first turn. Roy Sizemore, he takes the lead. the leads. Rob Camden back in the fourth. Here goes Jason Jennings through to second. Rob Camden up to third. Little mistake there by James Forthright. Let those two riders through. But this super smooth circuit. Look the, the suspension hardly moving as they go round there. Number 231, Roy Sizemore. In second place was number 41, Rob Camden. In third place, 174, Robin Pilcher. In fourth place, 169, James Cawthray. In only his third grass track meeting ever, he used to be a motocrosser, the son of Tony Cawthray. In fifth place, 143, Keith Richards. In sixth place, 888, Barry Hellstrip. In 7th place, 19, Jamie, Jason Trevitt. In 8th place, 110, Andy Hopton. And in ninth place, 211, Keith Drury. No other finishers. Winner's time, 1 minute 40.40 40 seconds. 231, 41, 174, 169, 143. All the 8s, 19, 110 and 211. No other finishers, winner's time, 1 minute 40.40 seconds, and over to Martin as they're on the line. And race 10 it is, coming into line there, coming under starters orders, another good line up in this one. All hurry, sure to start, favourite in this one. As they leave the line in for race 10, down the first straight again they 
go and into the first turn. A nice even break there, but yes, it's Paul Hurry that gets up there in the front first. Paul Hurry makes the ground that turn. Long line with Cox. And that looked like Stuart Dempsey come through from nowhere there into second place. Around the turn they come, 86, Graham Hurry from number 12. Stuart Dempsey, then 2-1-4, John Wilson, 0-4, Richard Sanford, and Tom. Around the turn they come, 86, Graham Hurry, Richard Sanford, and Tom. Around the turn they come, 86, Graham Hurry, Richard Sanford, and Tom. Around the turn they come, 86, Graham Hurry, Richard Sanford, and Tom. First win of the afternoon. Look at the style. Front wheel in the air. 86. All hurry leads. From number 12. Mike Webster. And T P Harry T. Last lap play goes and it's 86. All hurry the lead. Sanford there in second place. Then we'll look at Stuart Dempsey. Then Roy Sizemore in third. Uh, Andy Gomp, sorry, there. And Brian Woodcock. and 161. No other finishes. Winner's time 1 minute 35.66 seconds. The fastest time of the day so far. Over to Martin for race 11. Well, another good line up here with Vincent Kinch and Duncan Thomas, Tommy Palmer and many, many more. Couldn't actually see Tommy Palmer in there. Second place. Obviously not 
ruffled his feathers in that little spill there. Jason Mullet and Lynn Green. Starting to get the hang of things now. Lynn Green, former passenger to Carl School on those 500cc sidecars. Now passenger Jason Mullet. Jason Mullet all round on their last lap. Jason Mullet and Lynn Green. Then Andy Glenny and Kev seeming to have a few problems there with that ZX-10 outfit. Now he's put a lot of effort into building that in recent times. Jason Mullet and Lynn Green. Gary Adams in second place. Deep half on I think, is a, is a lap behind, and it makes um, Jason Mullet and Lynn Green take the third place. Randall. In second place was 55, Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock. In third place, 501, Jason Mullet and Lynn Green. And in fourth place, number 41, uh, Rob Heath and Dean Bartholomew. No fifth or sixth finisher. Winner's time, one minute, 27.15 seconds. Two. 55, 501 and 41, no fifth or sixth, winner's time, 1 minute 27.15 seconds. Race number 13 coming to the line, isn't he? Bar open up the top, the attend is open, we've just been informed. Victoria Public House from East Farley we believe, they've got the beer tent here this afternoon and it is already open. For those of you, not enough dust today for the uh, beer tent is, you need a bit of dust, makes it dry and you've got the beer tent to dampen the dust down. But, uh, support the local barman, he wants to um, carry on doing grass tracks and he needs support to do it, so please support him. Another man needing your support today is Pete Ruffle. Pete Ruffle taking photographs and he's great in photographs as per how good the photograph comes out, so you can get some excellent shots of yourself at very good rates. Number 31, Dave Winch, looks like he's gone straight into the lead, Jeff Winch, sorry, Jeff Winch, he's gone straight into the lead of Pete. Number five. That's Mick Cave. Not sure who's with Mick Cave this afternoon. Mick Cave and Andy Orchard. And they in fact take the lead from Jeff Winch. Looking to the back of the field now. Not sure who that is on that full pentafold looking outfit with its silencer hanging off the back. Uh, that could be the Mardells. Round they come then. Midfield there with that speedway outfit. Really powerful. Yeah. That last one should be number 57, the Mardells, but don't hold me to it. Sidecars, a win for number five, Mick Cave and Andy Orchard. Second was 31 which is D. Winch and Jeff Winch. Third was 57, we think, K. Mardell and T. Eckley. Fourth was 32, Kevin Simmons and P. Lane. And fifth was 24, Rob Wilson Jr. And was it Michael jo Wayne Jones. That's uh, Vince, Vince Jones' brother. No six finisher. Winner's time, 1 minute 30.04 seconds. 5, 31, 57, 32-24, no six finisher, winner's time, 1 minute 30.04 seconds. Over to Martin as they are appearing on the line already. So it's race number 14, another good line up here. Eric Colvin, change of passenger for him this afternoon, I'm told. And uh, A. Colvin, we're told Andy Colvin there, goes in the chair with Eric. So Eric, Eric and Andy Colvin from Hastings. Number 60, Bob and Paul Baseby. Bob and Paul Baseby from the Knockholt, Seven Oaks area. 
34, Penny Hook, and her new lady passenger, Jane McLaren. So that's Penny Hook and Jane McLaren on number 34. The first all-girl crew to compete in a sidecar grass track, to the best of our knowledge. 3-5-0 Ian and Jason Holmes. Number 12, Tim Bennett and Jason Benny. And number 99, Pete Colvin and Adam Coper-Smith. That's the line for race 14 as they come into line. Still a bit of a hold up there on the line. Down that first straight, all the outfits away. Bob Baseby with Paul Baseby in the chair lead into that first serve with Tim Bennett and Jason Glenny in hot pursuit in second place. Lady and Lady Jane nudging Pete Colvin, so they can get out of the way. We're coming through, and they've done it again. And Lady Jane goes down. And Hopefully Lady Penelope has noticed and has stopped. Find the marshal. Lady Jane's still in the track there, that's bad luck. So red flag up. All riders to stop in the interest of safety. Unfortunate mishap there for Lady Jane in her debut ride. Darren Bartholomew can get his leathers back. Maybe he'll be out in a moment. Oh, Lady Jane receiving medical attention there and hopefully, obviously we all hope that uh, no problem there. A piece, but a little bit dazed. Um, I think she fell on her head at the top there. I'll ask the man with the roller to come out and roll over it so nobody goes in the aisle. But, um, Are you saying she's yeah. got a big head? <laughs> it's just that she fell very hard. But anyway, back underway with the race. Fab one is out with a broken frame and a buckled sidecar wheel. Lady Jane is A-OK, -okay, just a little bit dazed. And Bob Baseby goes into the lead. Jason and Ian Holmes and then Tim Bennett and Jason Glenny. Then Pete Colvin and Adam Coper-Smith. Quite catchy with the eye. Eric and Rick Colvin, I believe. Oh, Eric and Andy Colvin, I'm sorry, coming round there. Bringing up the rear. So, Paul Bennett coming through to second place. Ian and Jason Holmes there challenging hard in third place. Then Pete Colvin and Adam Coker-Smith and then number three Eric and Andy Colvin bringing up the rear and then the battle coming up there for third between Pete Colvin with Adam Coker-Smith and Ian and Jason Holmes and then Eric and Andy Colvin bringing up the rear, and Eric and Andy nearly overslid that there. Then 99, Pete Colvin and Adam Cooper Smith. Then number 350, Ian and Jason Holmes. And number three, Eric and, Rick, uh, Eric and Andy Colvin bringing up the rear there. The official result of race 14, right hand side cars, a great win there for Bob and Paul Baysby. Second, number 12, uh, Tim Bennett and Andy Glenny. In third place, 99, Pete Colvin and Alan Coper Smith. In fourth place, 350, Ian and Jason Holmes. And in fifth place, number 3, Eric Colvin and Andy Colvin. No six finisher. Winner's time, 1 minute 32.51 seconds. 60, 12, 99, 350 and 3. Winner's time, 1 minute 32.51 and it's back to me. My dulcet tones again and there's uh, Mr Jenner of 605 fame. And it's John Dolma once again off to a good start but Wogey Giles right alongside him. No, it's John Dormer and Terry Giles. Terry Giles has pulled out in the last race. John Dormer and the Hawkins are getting the pace. And Terry Giles from Lennon. 
and uh, look at that weather out there. It's, uh, I'm sure they've all said their prayer mats out today. John Norma from Terry Giles, then 262, which is Jack Walker, get his name. But the pace is in the front there with John Dorma. Terry Giles going well in second, making up for that last miss out. And he's chasing hard on the top corner there. John Dorma really enjoying himself. He won his first race. Terry Giles going well in second. Still Jack Walker in third. Then one of the steals, then Bernie Edwards. Then 42, which is Jason Ford. And the action. The action there in the front there is the leader. John Dorma still being chased hard by Wogey Giles. Wogey really going into the corner. His speedway style is helping him. Still Jack Walker, then Bernie Edwards, then Paul Steele. Then Jason Forbes. Then the other Steele. That's Jason Steele. Then 30, which is... The battle still goes on right to the end as John Dorma wins from Terry Giles. There's still a battle going on between Jack Walker and Bernie Edwards. That's Bernie Edwards in fourth. Jason Forbes in sixth, then Jason Steele, then Simon Honeysett, then Roy Gorm. Then one eight one John Jonathan Gibbon. In third place, 262, Jack Walker. In fourth place, 115, Bernie Edwards. In fifth place, 247, Paul Steele. In sixth place, number 42, Jason Forbes. In seventh place, 147, Jason Steele. In eighth place, number 30, Simon Honeysett. In ninth place, number 36, Roy Gom. And in tenth place, number 181, Jonathan Gibbons. No 11th or 12th finisher. Winner's time, 1 minute 41.22 seconds. Again quickly from the top, 76, 300, 262, 115, 247, 42, 147, 30, 36, 181, no 11th or 12th finishers, winner's time 1 minute 41.22 seconds. Over the page to race 16, Phil Ranson in this one, Keith Richards, Richard Smith, Jamie Pantry. Uh, Steve Smith, Arthur Livings is a non-starter today, he's here spectating, I don't know what's up with him. Mike Appleton, and they're away. Didn't get them all in, but it's Mike Appleton off to a good start with Jamie Pantry. Nick White in third, then Richard Smith. As they go into the corner, it's Mike Appleton. In the lead with Jamie Pantry, who started off well in the last race. Well, his first race, I should say. Down that back straight, Jamie Pantry challenging hard. Richard Smith coming up there. Going around the outside of Jamie Pantry and Mike Appleton. It's Mike Appleton holding a tight line. Jamie Pantry is still in sight. But Richard Smith's taken over the lead. Richard Smith from Woodbridge in Suffolk. Richard Smith on a Suzuki. Followed by Mike Appleton. I believe he's on a Suzuki as well. I'm not too sure. These Suzukis are very popular. It's a new track, but I think it's a Suzuki. Richard Smith looks over his shoulder in the lead from Mike Appleton, then Jamie Pantry, then Nick White, then John Pilcher, Adrian Sip, Phil Ranson. And Richard Smith now pulling away slightly from Mike Appleton. As the field is getting a little bit spread out, the dark clouds are coming over. But say your prayers right, um, do a Bill Chesson here and uh, get your prayer mats out. Richard Smith, Mike Appleton, Jamie Pantry, Nick White, John Pilcher, Phil Ramson, ADF Sip. This is Graham Legg. As the action down that back straight into the top corner there. Richard Smith comes out. Coming up now to take the checker flag. He looks over his shoulder once again. A win for Richard Smith on his Suzuki from Mike Appleton, Jamie Pantry, John Pilcher, Nick White. Adrian Phipps, Phil Ranson, Graham Legg. Smith, 
In second place, 558, Mike Appleton. In third place, 120, Jamie Pantry. In fourth place, 49, John Pilcher. In fifth place, 96, Nick White. In sixth place, 176, Adrian Phipps. In seventh place, number six, Phil Ranson. In eighth place, 321, uh, Graham Legg. In ninth place, 105, A. Fawkes. And in tenth place, number 47, Steve Smith. No 11th or 12th finisher. Winner's time, 1 minute 43.84 seconds. On now to race 17, they're almost all on the line. Another good uh, line up in this race. And they're away. Steve Sherrick goes into the lead with Ian Leonis there in second. Third it is from Woodbridge in Suffolk, near Ipswich in your and it's Ian Lee Amos in second. Mitchell Gordon back in fifth place there. Steve Seward it is in the lead from Ian Lee Amos. David Mears going well in second now and from Ian Lee Amos. Not a lot between these first three. It's Steve Seward. David Mears, Ian Lee Amos. Sherry looks over his shoulder to see where they are. They're right there with him. Still David Mears holding on to the second. Ian Lee Amos in third. They're all closed up together there. Very tight. Still Steve Stewart, David Mears, Ian Lee Amos. David Mears really going well on that new track Honda. Still Steve Surrett, David Mears, Ian Lee Amis, Mark Charles, Rob Andrews and Mitchell Gordon there. As the action still down the back straight there, it's still Steve Surrett in the, in the lead with Dave Mears and Ian Lee Amis right together. Coming out of that top end, it's still Steve Surrett holding that lead from David Mears and Ian Lee Amis with Mark Giles in fourth. Mitchell Gordon in fifth. Wayne Andrews, sorry, Rob Andrews, then Colin Beach in. Then Colin Osborne. Five, Steve Sirrett. Second, 139, David Mears. Third, 183, Ian Leamis. Fourth, 26, Mark Giles. Fifth, number nine, Mark Mitchell Gordon. Sixth, 227, Rob Andrews. Seventh, 61, Colin Beechin. Eighth, 46, Colin Osborne. Ninth, double O, uh, which is P. Bassett. And tenth, number 100, which was Enfield. No 11th or 12th finishers. Winner's time, 1 minute 44.24 seconds. Again from the top, 25, 139, 183, 26, 9, 227, 61, 46, 00, 100. No 11th or 12th finishers. Winner's time, 1 minute 44.24 seconds. Now on to the left-hand side cars. And I don't know whether we might see uh, Dave Jenner and... Um, the old timers here wanted to get out again in a minute, but uh, going out with <laughs> Lenny, yeah, that'd be good to see. Right, we got Bill Penfold, Billy Penfold, Bernie Townsend, and they're away. Bill Penfold in the inside, but it's Tony Penfold into the lead. Tony Penfold into the lead. John Arnold in second, then Bill Penfold. Tony Penfold set the pace and watch Bill Penfold going down that back straight up into second. These Gordon V twins certainly got the power. It's Tony Penfold from Bill Penfold. Bill Penfold got the inside line and taking the lead from Tony Penfold. John Arnold in third. And Billy Penfold. 
And then down that back straight, Bill Pempold Sr. is streaking ahead of Tony Pempold. Still John Arnott, John Arnott in third. As Bill Pempold winds that Godspeed twin on. From Tony Pempold, John Arnott, Billy Pempold, Bernie Townsend. And Bill Penfold increasing his lead. Bill Penfold powering it out of that corner up to take his last lap flag. Followed by Tony Penfold who's coming very, very close to the board. Followed by John Arnott, then Billy Penfold. Then Jason Phillips. Then Bernie Edwards. Then Bernie Tappan. Bernie Townsend. As Bill Penfold takes it a little bit easier this time, up to take the checkered flag. A win for Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. From Tony Penfold, John Arnott and Billy Penfold. Third place, 251, John Arnott and Russell Steele. In fourth place, number 23, Billy Penfold and Matthew Lewin. In fifth place, number 33, Jay Phillips and ADF. No, he should have a different passenger, but I uh, can't remember it. And in sixth place, number 69, Bernie Townsend and Mike Cadell. Winner's time, 1 minute 49.74 seconds. 2, 25, 251, 23, 33 and 69. Winner's time, 1 minute 49.74 seconds. You better bring up... Clouds are passing over, it's not going to be too much, I hope, he says, hopefully. And they're all on the line, just waiting for the off. And they're away. Tommy Penfold in the lead, followed by Philip Davis. As they go into the first lane, it's Tommy Penfold this time to be in the middle. Look, Philip Davis. Tommy Penfold. Got a good lead already from the Davis brothers. Chain off, that's unlucky. Uh, Jonathan Fish in second, moves, moves up to second, he's his Lester. Then Hollingshead, then Graham Hilton bringing up the rear. So there's a change just in front there somewhere. That was unlucky for Tommy Penfold. Really started well today. Won his first one. So Philip Davis and his brother taking it fairly easy from John Fish. Then Keith Lessinger. Then Mr. Hollingshead and then Graham Hilton bringing up the rear. As the sun starts to come over, out as the clouds go over, which uh, makes everyone feel better when it's not raining. So the leader looks over his shoulder, got it fairly easy. He's uh, Philip Davis now rather than that top end. Taking it very easy as I said. There's a bit of dust might be coming through there in a few moments as Philip Davis and his brother take the checker flag from John Fish. Keith Lasseter. <laughs> Good my man, he's brought me a pint. Philip and Richard Davis. In second place, number 174, John Fish and Gary Moore. In third place, number 21, Keith Lesseter. And I've forgotten who's on with Keith this afternoon. James Cram. Then fourth place, number 348, Roger Huntingshead. And in fifth place, 151, Graham Hilton. No six finisher, the winner's time, 1 minute 50.07. From the top, 217, 174, 21, 348, 151, 
1 minute 50.07. On to the 350cc solos, on to the 350cc solos and uh, come into the line now, good lineup. Steve Hutchins, Paul Watson, Steve King, Mark Whiteman, Andy Gong, Marcus Hill, Keith Potts, Chris Norris, Roy Sizemore, Neil Emmett, Jonathan Duke and David Mears. Now if you remember, cast your mind back, the 350s was the first time win out, 4175 Keith Potts, followed by Jonathan Duke and Mark Whiteman. This time Keith Potts gets underway first with Jonathan Duke hard on his tail.
Dave Collins it is in the lead. And really going well from Carl Skrull. Then Wayne Boyd. Then the, the old time at Bill Spears. Really doing well. Dave Collins and Ricky Francis from Chelmsford in the lead. From Carl Squirrel and Andy Doughty from Woodbridge in Suffolk. There's a lot of Suffolk riders down here today. There's nothing up on in the eastern centre. Keith Beard is coming from the back. He's living when he raced in the southeast before. But the leader, still Dave Collins and Ricky Francis on their DAB. Up now to take their last lap. Being chased by Carl Squirrel and Andy Doughty. Still working for it. Quite well spread out. As the leader goes into that top end for the last time, the black clouds have gone. And it's a lovely day here again at High Hall. Up to take the checker flag away in, but lost my breath. <coughs> That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Over to Martin for the results. Three Carl Squirrel in third place, number 99, Wayne Boys, and in fourth place, number 13, Keith Beard. No other finishes, the winner's time 1 minute 42.14. From the top, 5, 33, 91, 13. No other finishes, 1 minute 42.14. OK, we've got the lucky numbers here and the money if you've got the lucky numbers to come and collect the money. I was going to say it's over to Martin again, but it's not, it's me. Oh, sorry about that. S number 20, Dave Collins in the lead. Sorry, A, Andy Patch in the lead. And what happened to Raz Palmer there? It's uh, unusual to see him do something like that, but uh, can you remember him up at Stansted one year, Martin, when he was riding solos? Yes, when he's uh, a very lucky man was Raz Palmer then. S number 20, Alan Peck. From number 9, Mark Sutherfield. Simon Beard and Raz Palmer set off. A lot of smoke coming out there. It oiled up a bit, but uh, clearing a bit now. Uh, <laughs> and he's back in the lead from Mark Stubberfield. Simon Beard and Raz Palmer. The leader Andy Peck coming around that top end now up to take his last lap flag. Being chased by Mark Stubberfield. Brad is now up in the third, but he's got a, a lap of drift, I think. So he's got a bit to make up. As the leader goes into the top bend for the last time. It's Andy Peck and S. Metzen coming up to take the checker flag from Mark Stubberfield. Raz Palmer still got a lap two and it's Simon Beard. Whether Raz Palmer will do his extra lap or not, I don't know. Race 23 underway. Down the first straight to go, another nice even start. It's number three, Mike Frevitt that leads into that first turn. From Dean North in second place, Jason Jennett holding third. Got well, Jason Jennett coming through up into second place. Don Chapman, Don Chapman, scrutineer, report to the paddock as soon as possible, please. Don Chapman, report to the paddock as soon as possible, please. Mike Trevitt then, from Jason Jennett, from Dean North, from Paul Steinbridge, and Keith Richards. Keith Richards up from the 7th centre. 
started me earlier on how much travelling he has to do to get his grass back in every week and uh, certainly a well seasoned campaigner is Keith Richards. Number three then, Mike Trevitt leads. From 165, Jason Jennett, then Dean Norton, then Keith Richards, Paul Norris, Mike Webster, Keith Massingham, Doug Norris and Adrian Hart. Well, oh, Mike Trevitt's got it all sewn up this time, or has he? Because that number 165, Jason Jenner, is chasing hard in second place. Now goes the last lap flag. It's now whatever for Jason Jenner to get past Mike Trevitt. Will it happen? Well clear of the rest of the field. Dean Norton holding a good third. Keith Richards a comfortable fourth. And Paul Stiverett's in fifth. Well, catching up with the tail enders now. Mike Trevitt going for gold. Reads up the inside of that tail ender. Looks like he's got it all under control, but Jason Jennett winds them both on half behind him. They chase out of that last turn there, heading for the checkered flag. It's a win for Mike Travis. From Jason Jennett in a creditable second place. In ball number 20, number 6 is Dean Norton in third place. And Keith Richards in fourth, then Paul Stiveritz. Mike Webster, Keith Massingham, Doug Norris, Adrian Hart. Number 3, Mike Trevitt. In second place, 165, Jason Jeanette. In third place, number six, that's who's uh, taking Vince Kinchin. Can't remember his name. Dean Norton. In. Over to Martin. I'll, we'll catch up on that in a minute. Race number 24 then is underway. Rob Camden leads. Duncan Thomas holding it in second place. Number two, what's the signing over on the outside? Joe Grass by Hatcher is best to think about that turn. And Duncan Thomas pushing hard on the inside of Rob Camden. Rob Camden just... Inching ahead, but Duncan Thomas takes the inside line, scores it up on the inside. Rob Camden puts the power on early, trying to go around the outside. Those two boys locked in battle. Rob Camden goes very, very wide. Duncan Thomas just edging in front there from Rob Camden, from Ricky Sanford, then Paul Watson. While it's all hot action in these 500 cc solos, and Duncan Thomas is pulling away from Rob Camden in second place. Rob Cannon again drives from the back, he really locks it up, he's got the inside line this time. Will it be enough to get Duncan Tollos on that cotton machine? Duncan Tollos, Rob Cannon, Ricky Sanford. Going into the yard, I think that is there in third. Fallen rider in the bottom, the red flag is up. The red flag is up, the race being stopped in the interest of safety. We have a fallen rider there in the bottom, so bad luck there for DT. Looks like it's going to be a rerun of race 24. Not sure who that was who dropped. Did anybody get a number off of that? Yeah, Rob Camden. Rob Camden, was it? 22. At Stelling Minnis, near Folkestone. Grass track action for next Sunday. This is this Sunday and this is the High Horton boarded circuit and away they go again. Ricky Sanford getting the best of the start this time. Santa Torres holding it to the second place. And then Andy Bob in third. Well Ricky Sanford certainly gets to get in the way this time and uh, Duncan probably wishing it never had to be rerun. Goes a few yards into that turn though and turns on the power. Tucks it in tight on that turn and he's going for gold. Ricky Sanford though is winning. Duncan Solis is second. Then Andy Gold. Then Barry Eldred. Then Jason Newcastle. Then Andy John Travis. So it's Ricky Sanford leading Duncan Solis. Duncan Solis again going for a lot of yards into that turn but he must be losing them somewhere or he'd have been in front for now. Round they come then. Ricky Sanford from Duncan Solis. From Andy Gold. Barry Eldred. Jason in the yard, almost catching the fence. Then John Travis. And Andy Cullen. Sorry, Andy Holton. And number 77, Harry Keane bringing up the rear. Well, the last lap flag will be out in front of these two boys this time. Ricky Sanford looks behind him to see where Duncan Tullos is. And Duncan's within striking distance as they start the last lap. And that's uh, third place looking very dicey as well. So two riders come through very close to each other on the bottom turn. Ricky Sanford seems to have it all sewn up now as they enter that last turn for the last time. Ricky Sanford flat out, sliding a little bit wide. Duncan Torres trying to nip up the inside, but a win there for 04 Ricky Sanford from Duncan Torres in second place. Then Andy Gong, Jason Hilliard, and a bit of a gap back. John Trevitt. 
crosses the line and then uh, 110 Andy Hopton bringing up the rear. Smoking well. Ricky Sanford in second place 74 Duncan Tollers. In third place 261 Andy Gong. In fourth place number one Jason Hilliard. In fifth place number 19 John Trevett. And in sixth place 110 Andy Hopton. No other finishes. Winner's time, 1 minute 37.93 seconds. 04, 74, 261, 1, 19 and 110. Winner's time, 1 minute 37.93 seconds. And over to Martin. 500cc Sotos yet again then. <coughs> in this their second league. In this one we get previous race winner, number 86, Paul Hurry. Also, another previous race winner going in this one, 215 Steve Wilson. And would you believe the other previous race winner here this afternoon, Roy Sizemore, all three go in this race. So only one of those can be looking at a maximum after this race for sure. Off they go then. Who's it going to be? Paul Hurry, Steve Wilson or Roy Sizemore. Steve Wilson goes into the turn first. Paul Hurry got a really good side line there. But Steve Wilson turns the motor on, cuts across the line of Paul Hurry and zooms up that next day. Steve Wilson got his head down, long track style. He's really giving it the big enough that back straight. Paul Hurry challenging hard there in second place. Got another three laps to go to try and get there. Steve Wilson's doing all he knows possible to do. Paul Hurry goes right around the outside on that turn. And Paul Hurry leads on Steve Wilson in second place. Paul Hurry very popular with the fans here in Brass Track and on the speedway. Paul Hurry winding that machine up. Nice tight line around that turn. So is Steve Wilson. In third place is Roy Sizemore. So that's the previous race winners of 1, 2, 3 in this one. And Lucas Bell. And then James Stalkeray. Well, around that turn he comes sideways, blocking it up. He's really got it going some. 86, Paul Hurry. From 215, Steve Wilson. From 231, Andy Long. Then Lucas Gold, James Fordway, Robin Filcher, Julian Foot, Brian Woodcock. And Keith Drury then bringing up the rear. But it's the front man we've got our eyes on. He's really locked up sideways around there. Up comes the front wheel. A win there for Paul Harry, his second of the afternoon, a battling second place there for Steve Wilson. Well deserved second and a good third place for Roy Sizemore. So I think I called Andy Gong, I wish them to do a change of colour to their letters and those, those body colours. Definitely confusing. Got another fine race there, here on the new high hall circuit. The solos and that man living up to his name, always in a hurry, a great win again. For number one, <laughs> sorry, for number 86 in first place. Uh, in second place was 215, Steve Wilson. Third place, 231, Roy Sizemore. In fourth place, 65, Lucas Dodd. In fifth place, 69, James Cawthray. In sixth place, 174, Robin Pilcher. In seventh place, 73, Julian Phipps. In eighth place, 22, Brian Woodcock. And in ninth place, 2-1-1, Keith Drury. No 10th, 11th or 12th finishes. Winner's time, 1 minute 34.30 seconds. That's faster than Paul's previous win. Again, 86, 215, 231, 65, 169, 174, 73, 22, 211. No other finishes. Winner's time, 1 minute 34.30 seconds. On then to race number 26, it's right hand side cars again, a non starter in this one, number 34. Penny Hook and Jane McMarron out with uh, mechanical difficulties, translated into broken frame. But that'll be ready for next weekend. This is this weekend. And race number 26, we've got Pete Colvin, Adam Cooper Smith, we've got Tim Bennett and Jason Glennie. Mick Cave and Andy Orchard, Jeff and Dave Winch, and we should have 91 Wayne boys, but I can't see him out there at all, so... Oh, it's Izzy's there at the back. Sorry, I missed him. 91 Wayne boys does go in this one. Oh, that's 
Set number five, back in his winning ways. He had a win first time out, and he's having another win by the looks of things now. Nick Cave and Andy Orchard from Tim Bennett and Jason Glenny holding a good second spot. Jason Glennie in second place then, Dave and Jeff Winch, then Pete Colvin and Adam Cobra-Smith, then Wayne Boys and Jason Hull. Then Dave and Jeff Winch, then Pete Colvin and Adam Cobra-Smith. And then Wayne Boys and Jason Holmes on that very speedway looking right hand side car outfit. Number five, Nick Cave and Andy Orchard, Jason Benning, and the Winch Brothers, Pete Cole and Adam Cobra Smith, and Wayne Boys and Jason Holmes. No six finisher, winner's time, 1 minute 29.74 seconds. Race number 27, right hand side cars are going then. Cherry Adams and Sean Pittock, Bob and Paul Baseby, previous race winners. Bob Heath and Dean Bartholomew, Eric and, what's it, Andy Colvin? Andy Colvin, now some of them Colvins are there. Then 3.50, Ian and Jason Holmes, so he's going to be busy if he was on with uh, Wayne Boys in that last race. And we've got 878, Richard Jenner, and I believe Nick Walters. I only see five outfits on the line, so I think we are missing Richard Jenner. Here, yeah, what's this? There's some wet stuff on my window here. You've got your umbrellas up. What's, what's going on out there then? You want to get a job in the dry like me and Don and Anne here. Off they go then. Down the first three. Looks like Ian and Jason Holmes are break first, but Bob and Paul Brace be a hard up the inside. Bob second into first place. Bob's boys trying to go around the outside. Bob Brace is hard then. Takes the lead then from Bob and Paul Baseby in second place, then Ian and Jason Holmes in third. And then Andy Glenny with Kev Bovis. I think that's Eric and Andy Colvin at the back. Gary Adams on the God C swing from Bob Baseby on the thousand uh, uh, ZX-10 Kawasaki. Jerry Adams, Sean Piddock then lead from Bob and Paul Baseby in second place. Those two very tied together. Little more gap then soon. Bob and Paul Baseby hard up on the inside there trying their hardest to get that lead back. And they have a the spam on the first turn. Eric and Andy Colvin now ahead of uh, Andy Glenny and Kev Bogbis. Well, the last turn for the last time, Bob Bates is really good now. Very, very close. Jerry Adams just gets there. Bob Bob and Paul Bates in second place. No love lost between those two. They was very close on the line. Ian and Jason Holmes, a comfortable third place for them. Eric and Andy Colvin then. And bringing up the rear, number 15, Andy Glenny and Kev Bogbis.